Welcome to the Visually Logical Podcast, where you'll learn how to use Logic Pro with the Apple built-in screen reader, VoiceOver. Our host is Antonio DeLillis. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a new tutorial. And yeah, today's Logic 11, everybody. Short one, so let's jump on board straight away. Um, session player. I have a project. I instantiated a session player uh, keyboard track is just eight bars of this one bar one beat one division one tick Right, quick explanation. Once you get to this point where you have a session player with a keyboard, the keyboard player will just follow the global track or global key signature. Namely, um, by default, Logic is in C major, which is here. Let's see if I can play my keyboard. Yeah, there. Um, so it will just fill in the eight bars that it has created with just that C major. Okay, for eight bars. Now, we have been told that we can change the key and the chords. And the key, you can do it in the global track if you know how to do it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, how about changing the chords of that eight bars? Um, we can do it, and but we need the chord track, which is, it can be found in the track or tracks ruler. So, control bar. not in the control bar, I'm, I will go slow from now on. Tracks. In the tracks here, interact. In tracks. Two items. Tracks. Tracks. This one to the right, which is. You are currently on a group. It tracks group. In tracks. And go for the tracks. Look for the tracks ruler. Tracks time ruler. Time ruler. This that's the one. Interact. Interact. Via shift down arrow, and look for chord track. So via right. One bar or one beat one div one bar or one bar or one beat one division one. Oh, and there's nothing there. Via left. One two eight bars off. So start marker. Start mark. Start marker. There's nothing there. One bar one beat one. one. Okay, but bar it's one playing. Beat. So what's one going on? One off. One two one bar one bar one beat one. So at this point, I thought like you all did, we all did, that this is or was completely inaccessible to us. Um, and the answer is, uh, well, maybe, um, yeah, it's not super accessible, but it is. And I'll show you how to get there. So Out of tracks go away from uh, Tracks Ruler and go to Tracks Legend. Tracks Legend, which is to the left. Interact via shift down arrow In track and Duplicate track. Show hide global tracks. G unticked. So did you hear that one? Du show hide global tracks. G. Show hide global track. G unticked. So if I tick there. Show hide global tracks. G ticked. Ticked. Or if I press letter G on the keyboard. So listen. Du show hide global tracks. G unticked. Unticked. I press G on my keyboard. And if I go left. Add track. And then right. Duplicate track. Show hide global tracks. G ticked. Now it's ticked. Okay, now that it's ticked, if I go to out of tracks legend tracks time ruler the tracks time ruler and interact again in tracks time now button chord track contains chords and chord groups that session players can follow. Okay, did you hear that now? Okay, now um that one if you interact via shift and arrow in chord track contains chords and chord groups that session players can follow. Content is empty does nothing because if you hear the last bit content is empty okay there are no chords okay out of chord track contains chord so from this moment on let me show you what it appears to the button out tracks legend the tracks legend now via shift down arrow in track duplex show hide arrangement create arrangement marker create marker without tempo signature button create signature chord chord Create chord option shift command C. Create chord. 
and I'll let you hear that again. Cool. Create cool option shift command C. I have a um, you know um, associated a key command to that. Cool. Create code option shift command C. Create code option shift command C. Out of track. In order for that to be working, and that's something important from now on, there are a couple of places your voiceover needs to be. Okay? Tracks time ruler. Either here. In tracks type button. Cool button. Button. Cool track. Con in the code track. So view shift down arrow in here. In code track. Contains codes and. And from now on, that's what you have to remember. You can create a chord where the playhead is. So one bar, one beat, one division, one tick. I'm at bar one, and as I said at the beginning, this all C C C. Okay. So I want to create a quick eight bars of C major and then F major, C major, F major. Each bar there is a chord. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going with my play playhead to track. Sorry, bar two. Two bars, one beat, one division, one. I'm pressing my key command, Option Shift Command C. In scroll area. And done, done. Chord. Let's explore these nine uh, Chord. columns or nine elements menu. C content selected chord. That's the name of the chord, which. I've tried to change the name of the code from here. It doesn't do the trick. So I would do the I would I would use the next things. So C, I'm, I'm doing V or right. C, sorry, V or right. C root note. Root note. So I want to create an F major, just a triad. So I need to view space menu and look for F. So V or down until you hear F. C music sharp sign. D music flat sign. D D music sharp sign. E music flat sign. E F. View space there. F root note. And that's the root note is, has changed now. Okay. Code types. Code types. View shift down arrow to interact and see. In minor major selected. The first one is major and it is selected already. Minor. There is minor. Sus two. Sus two, which is a triad triad minus the third, which is lower to the second. So in C there will be C D G. Sus4. Sus4, suspended 4, so instead of E in C major will be C, F, G. 5. 5 is just, you know, the power call for guitarist, so only C and G. Augmented. Augmented, C, E, G sharp. Diminished. Diminished, C, E flat and G flat. Did I say that correctly? C, E flat, G flat, yeah, I think so. Uh, so, Major is selected. Out of chord. Extensions. Extensions. I don't need them now, but yeah. In extensions, music. Let's let's have a look. Music sharp sign five. Music sharp sign five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Major seven. So seven. That's the dominant seven. Major seven. Major seven. Music flat sign nine. Blah blah blah. So I don't need that. So I will view shift up arrow. Out of extension. None. Bass note. The bass note, that's interesting if you want to create some, you know, bass passages, but, you know, or, I don't know, C over D, C over B flat, cool chords, but, uh, yeah, not not now. Auto, Lydian, scale. And it tells you that in C major, if you play an F major, the scale associated is... Now, auto, Lydian, scale. F Lydian. Well, you know, some music theory there. MIDI input. MIDI input, it's interesting, you can just, you know, um, press keyboard on your MIDI controller and just, it will pick the chords, which is, you know, it, it works. Preview. And the preview, view space there. And usually it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> when you finish, just press escape. Tracks. One bar. And now we should hear at bar one, C. One. And then F. Yeah. Bar one beat now one. the thing is, it stays with the same chord, the last chord played. So at bar three, two bars, one, three bars, one beat. You have to do the same. So I'm pressing the key command, Option Command Shift C. In scroll C C root note. But interestingly, when it keeps playing the last chord that you added, but when you insert a new chord, it will start from the root or the first chord of the key. So it's C major, so because it's that's what I want, I'll just press escape. Escape. Track. Now at bar three. 
Three balls, one beat. I should hear C again, which is that one. Three balls, one beat. One. And that's the case. Okay. One division, one tick. One. So the whole thing is one. Bar one. Bar two. Bar three. Bar four. Bar one, two bar, three, four bars. So at four bar, I'm gonna press the key command again. In scroll C, C, root note, root menu. Note, I'm gonna go down to F. C, D, 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 E, E, F, F. And then escape. Tra Six bar, five bar. At bar five. In I'm pressing the key command. C, C. And because it's C, and it, this, what, this is what I want, I'm gonna press escape. Tracks. Six bars, one B. Five, five. Five bars, four bars. Four bars, three bars, four bars, five. six bars, one beat, one. Yeah, so it's one, working. One. So C, bar one, bar two, F, bar three, four, five, still okay. Five bars, one, six bars, one. Six, we need F, so bar six. Gonna press key command. In scroll C C root note. Root note. D, 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 going D, D, music to e F F F root note. Escape. Tracks. Bar seven. Eight bars with seven bars. One beat. One se six bars. Six, seven bars. I need C. In scroll C C root escape. note. Tracks. Eight bars. One. Bar eight. I need F. So key command. In scroll C C root D D D E E F. F root note track eight bars one nine bars eight eight bars one beat one division one tick so the whole thing one bar one. and it's working and that's it for today so um, once again the chord track it can be used it's a, it's a bit tricky it's, it's not straight straightforward what I must say and copying and pasting the chord tracks it's not the easiest thing to do but it's feasible so yeah more tutorial to come everybody I hope this was helpful at least to get you started and till next time yeah, let's all make music with this new fun tool. Till then, bye. Thanks for joining us on our podcast. We hope you found our content insightful and thought-provoking. Before we go, we'd like to thank all our listeners for their invaluable support. If you enjoyed our podcast and want to contribute to its growth, please consider making a donation via PayPal to delilisantonio at gmail.com. That's D for Delta, E for Echo, L for Lima. I for India, L for Lima, L for Lima, I for India, S for Sierra, A for Alpha, N for November, T for Tango, O for Oscar, N for November, I for India, O for Oscar at gmail.com. Thank you so much for listening.